Swings at the next one, sends it into the backstop. Count is even, two and two. Swing and a foul, and look like that one caught a piece of Woodmire. He is down. He's back up, walking it off. Look like that one hurt. Swing, chopper, that goes foul past first base. Two and two it remains. Nobody out, two men aboard, runners on second and third. West Dallas threatening here in the second. Swing, chopper to second and it'll get through for an RBI single, puts runners on the corners, and West Dallas takes an early lead. First baseman, number 11, Nick Lingve. Here's Nick Lingve. Throw over to first, and back goes Widmar. Next pitch, hot one to short, chance for two. They get it, but a run does score. No outs, and a sacrifice RBI on the double play for Nick Lingve. Here's Jonah Meidel, number nine hitter for West Dallas. Also plays position number nine, right field. He sends one into the netting. That's strike two. It's wines and delivers. Ball one to two strikes. And here's the next one. Swung on and sent foul. Ball two, even Zakana two apiece. Swing and a miss, he got him. West Dallas is retired in the second. They put up two runs, two to nothing it is as it comes to the A's portion of the second. This is Sheboygan Baseball brought to you by Sargento.
Blake Fleischman will lead off the A's second, followed by Dan Barwick, then Taylor Grimm. We're heading into the bottom third of the order. Swing and a miss. Big cut. He couldn't connect with it. It's 0-2. Swing, and then one goes foul up pass first. Swing, a hot one that'll get through the middle. Diving attempt was made by shortstop Shea Smith. Couldn't get it. Single for Fleischman. Now Dan Barwick gets a chance. Center fielder, number four, Dan Barwick. High fly ball that goes foul and out of play for a strike. Barwick had spent most of the early part of the season leading off for batting second. Now has found himself further down in the order. In the bottom third, in fact. He's had some good offensive production, but not meriting a place at the top of the order. Or so feels manager Derek Lumens. Own two. Pryle sets, throws over to first. Fleischman dives back in time. Next pitch way outside. A little bit of a waster on the 0-2. Another throw over to first. Fleischman back in plenty of time. He's not taking much of a lead out there. And he certainly got Pryo preoccupied. Swing, high fly ball into shallow left. It will be caught. Four out number one. Here is Taylor Grimm playing second base tonight. Wearing a gray sleeveless jersey. And he will take Two balls. No strikes on him yet. I'll make contact with the next one. It'll be playable and caught in right.
Well, here's Hayden Fenner. And he is wearing a blue pinstripe jersey. And that's a real old one. That's from 60s, maybe the early 70s. The A's colors used to be uh, blue, kind of uh, not quite a navy blue, a little lighter. And that jersey does look a little tight on him. Imagine it's shrunk in one or maybe a thousand washings over the over the years. Another throw over to first. Fleischman again back in time. Again, he's not taking much of a lead out there. Pryle just preoccupied. Swing a chopper right to first and that is it for the A's they leave a man stranded and after two complete they are behind the West Dallas Nationals 2-0 this is A's baseball brought to you by Larry's Distributing It's the top of the third, and it will be the Nationals coming up. The top of their order, Kyle Kockoff, Brian Hunsinger, Matt Richer. First pitch to Kalkoff is a ball. Next one swung on, sent into the backstop. One and one it is. Two and one now. Walk issued by Schmitz. Man aboard. And 
near center fielder Brian Hunsinger. Throw over to first. Call golf dives back in time. Strike one called on Hunsinger. Swing. This one in the center and back goes Barwick. He makes the catch. One away. Swing, hot one to second, and that one will have to be an error. Second baseman Taylor Grimm, but he did not handle it, and now there are runners on the corners. Kalkoff made it around a third. Now a steal attempt, and he'll be out. So Richer gets on because of the air, but is caught stealing for the second out of the inning. Swing and a miss to make it own two. Shea Smith is the batter for West Allis. And he will look at that one. That one just missed outside. Makes it one ball and two strikes. Swings at that one. Another one into center. And it will be caught for out number three by Barwick. West Dallas leaves a man stranded, and after two and a half innings of play, they have a two-run advantage over the A's. This is Sheboygan Baseball, brought to you by Trilling True Value Hardware. Top of the order for the A's here in inning number three. So it'll be Dylan Dietert, Carter Amundsen, T.J. McCoy.
High foul ball that will get out of play into the A's dugout. One and one now. Swing bouncer that will be fielded by Pryl. He'll make the throw to first for out number one. Right fielder number 14, Carter Amundsen. And here will be Carter Amundsen. Amundsen going to square the bunt, but that one hit him. Maybe it took Pryl by surprise there. Looked like he lost all control, that one. Didn't have a lot of velocity on it, luckily. Well, here is TJ McCoy appearing in his third game of the season for the A's. He swings and sends one sharply just past first. It'll be foul. Throw over to first. Bit close, but Amundsen back in time. Swing, and this one looks like it'll be in the gap. It does. Bounces to the fence. McCoy heading for two. He'll be in standing up. And Amundsen will be in for a run. An RBI double for T.J. McCoy. And the A's have halved the West Dallas lead. And here is Harry Stelt looking for hit number 201. Owen oh, 2 to Stelt, and now he lifts one high and foul. It'll get out of play. So Stelt had his 200th hit of his A's career back in the first. Now he's down 0-2, and he watches one go way outside for ball one. Swing, and uh, another foul ball that goes out of play over the right field line. So Stelt is just a little bit away, you know, 174 hits away. So he's got a little bit of ways to go before he's on the A's all-time hits chart. Strike three called. Got him looking. That's out number two, and here is Nate Hiley. Shortstop number 18, Nate Hiley. Swing.
swing, and this one looking like it might have a chance to get in the gap. It does. It'll be an easy stand-up double, and Hiley will round, and he'll have to dive back. Thought about going for three, but then thought better of it. Dives back, and another RBI double for the A's, and we have a tied ball game. And here is Blake Fleischman. Go back day. Yeah, essentially. 0-1-1 to Fleischman. And Pryle looks at strike two. That one got the outside corner. The one two swung on, and this one has a chance, but it is caught in left. Little looper looked like it had a chance to fall in, but no. A's, however, put up two runs, tie the ball game after three complete. This is Sheboygan Baseball, brought to you by Dufour Advertising. Number four we go, and Nick Schmittelkoffer will be the leadoff man. Strike one, good one low in the zone. Wines and delivers. That one hit. Highly will knock it down, but he won't be able to make the throw. And we'll score that an infield hit. That one looked like it would have gotten through between third and short. Third baseman number 23, Jake but it didn't. Highly knocked it down. Still no chance for a throw. Hit number five for the West Dallas Nationals. One and one to Jake Kolosinski. Next one misses outside. Throw down a first. He got back in time. Fenner's hoping to catch him napping out there. Fairly close play, but he was able to get back, Schmittelkoffer was. Two and one count to Kolosinski. Schmidt sets, checks, delivers. Swing and a miss. Fooled him there. Two 
Two and two now. Now, look like a breaking ball there, and it is sent into shallow center. Three A's converge on it. Barwick makes the catch. Out number one, that is. And here is Widmar. Runner aboard first, one away. Top of inning number four at Wildwood Baseball Park. Is playing a 2-2 ball game versus the West Dallas Nationals here in this Wisconsin State League game. Swing and one into the netting for strike two. And it is a nice night for baseball. Much cooler than yesterday. Yesterday was a hot, muggy day. It's about 10, 15 degrees cooler today after a little bit of rain came through last night. So much more comfortable today. A little bit cool. Here in the second half of the A's season. Throw over to first. Schmidl Coffer was back in time, and then the pitch, another foul away, will keep it 0-1-2. Woodmar, the designated hitter, batting seventh. Swing and a miss at the high heat. He got him. And it looked like Fenner was taken off to the dugout. Usually you expect the catcher to be the one who knows how many outs there are, but quickly caught it and got back. No harm, no foul. Out number two. And here will be Nick Lingvay. Well, Fenner a little overzealous. And here's a dribbler, and Schmitz will pick it up. Step on first himself for out number three. West Dallas leaves a man stranded, and it remains 2-2 after three and a half. This is A's Baseball, brought to you by Culver's. It'll be the bottom third of the order for the A's in the fourth. And that means Dan Barwick will step in. Two and zero to Barwick. 
And now 3 and 0. Oh. And ball four on four straight pitches. Barwick will get his base. And in will step Taylor Grimm. Second baseman, number nine, Taylor Grimm. Swing and a fall out of play. Kurt Pryle working the mound for West Dallas tonight. One and one. Swing and that one goes into the backstop. Looked like Barwick might have been setting to take off there. Maybe hit and run on. As it is, it's one and two. Throw over to first and back just in time. That was a little too close for comfort. Barwick, a uh, pretty big lead over there. And a little bit slow on the dive back. But he got in there. Swing, chopper to third. And they're trying for two, and they'll get it. On the five, four, three, double play. Well, here's Fenner. Back up again. He hit one right to the third baseman back in inning number two. And he's wearing that old jersey. I mean, it is throwback day here at Wildwood Park. Celebrating the more than 50 year history of the Sheboygan A's. Fenner hits high bouncer. Pryle jumps for it, makes the throw. And that is it for the A's in the fourth. Four complete here at Wildwood Park. And it's a tie ball game, two apiece. And this is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Legend Larry's.
Jonah Meidel leads us off here in the top of the fifth inning. Hello, I'm Carson Ostman to bring you the next few innings of A's baseball. And Schwartz with the, Schmitz with the first pitch, and it's going to be called a ball. Swinging strike, putting strike one on the board for the one and one pitch. That's going to be a hopper to Hiley, and Hiley's going to throw it to first. Just a second late, and he'll be called safe at first. Second baseman, number eight, Kyle Kelkoff. Kyle Kelkoff coming up to the plate for West Dallas now. And he puts out a bunt, but that's going to be way inside. One and oh pitch is going to be a strike for one and one count now. And he puts out another bunt, and hey, Fenner is going to throw it to second, but Grimm is going to drop it, and he will be called safe at two. Hit right past Grimm into right field. It's going to be thrown in, and runners will be held at first and third. Center fielder, number 21, mm. Brian Hunsinger. Brian Hunsinger batting now. And he's going to hit that one way up and back. And Schmitz will throw to first, but the runner will be called safe. And another one way foul, but it's going to be over the first base side now. Own two count. And swinging strike for strike number three and first out here in the fifth inning. Number three, Matt Richer, batting for West Dallas now. And foul ball down first baseline.
and the ball outside, evening the count to one and one. And Fender's going to throw that one too far left, and that's going to bring in another one on for West Dallas. And hey, he's throwing the ball around a little bit. Fleischman unable to catch that throw from Barwick. Luckily, the runner decided to stay at fir third. Three to two, West Dallas now. count now. And Hopper to Schmitz and he's going to grab it. And first. And there's going to be a run scored again. 4-2 to two score now. West Dallas. Double zero, Shea Smith coming up to the plate now. And ball high. And that one's going to be hit way foul into first base territory. Hopper to short. Throw will be made just in time for out number three, sending us into the bottom of the fifth inning with a score of 4-2 to two, West Dallas. And leading off the A's in the bottom of the fifth inning, Dylan Dietert, number 31. balls on the first two pitches 
coming into the bottom of the fifth with a score of 4-2, to two, West Dallas leading. We'll see if Dylan Dieterd can start a little something here. And ball number four is sending Dieter to first base. Right fielder, number 14, Carter now Emerson. coming up is number 14, Carter Emmonson, playing right field tonight. And a strike for the first pitch to Edmondson. Edmondson shooting one into right field. First baseman, number 47, TJ McCoy. TJ McCoy playing first base tonight. Pitcher throws one to second, looks to get Dieterd out, but Dieterd will stand up safe. And McCoy's going to hit that one right to the first baseman, and that's going to be out number one in the bottom of the fifth here. Harry Stelt, Harry number 19. Stelt. We'll see if he can bring in these runners in scoring position. And that one's going to be hit way up there. Stelt letting that low ball come past with a one and one count now. And ball high, two and one count. And another one hit foul. Two and two, we'll see if Stelt can stay alive. And ball outside, full count now. And a ball inside, sending Stelt to first. Base is loaded now as Nate Hiley comes up to the plate. Hiley's going to hit one right to second base, bringing in Dieterd. Stelt getting out at second, and Hiley will be safe just in the nick of time at first. Blake Fleischman, number 35, number 35 coming Blake in tonight. Fleischmann.
Pitcher throws to first, looking to get highly out, but he goes head and hands first to be safe. And a ball way inside on first pitch for Blake Fleischman. Pitcher looks at Hiley again, but still safe. And Fleischman with a swinging strike. Strike number two. Fleischman has to protect the plate now. See if he can get a hit to bring in one run to tie up the game. And highly almost out, but it's going to be called safe. Foul ball over to the third base side. Runners on first and third with two outs, and Fleischman had a count of one ball and two strikes. And he hits that one way up there. Too far gone to be caught. Still a one and two count. Fleischman swings for strike number three and out number three, sending us into the top of the sixth inning with a score four to three, West Dallas. For West Dallas, left fielder, number 42, Nick Schmidlkoffer. Nick Schmidlkoffer, number 42, leading off West Dallas in the sixth inning. And he's going to hit a hopper to Hiley, and Hiley's going to throw it to first for first out. Third baseman, number 23, Jake 
Jake Kolonsinski from West Dallas that's played now. And strike for the first pitch. And another little hopper over to the third short area. And it's going to be grabbed by Fleischman and thrown to first for out number two. Designated hitter, number 22, Max Widmar. Designated hitter, Max Widmar, batting now. Winning strike for strike number one. And there's strike two. 0 oh 2 count now. And a ball way outside. Gonna be hit right into right field. Fumbled a little bit out there by Hammondson, but we get in, runner held at first. First baseman number 11, Nick Lingveg. Nick Lingveg at the plate. And the ball there for the first pitch. And pop up into center. And that's going to be right in the gap there, right all the way back to the fence. And runner will be at second, but bringing in another run for a 5-3 to three score now, West Dallas. Jonah Meidel. We'll see if A's can get the last out here, make it quick. And hit straight up. Grabbed by Finner, and there's out number three. West L is bringing in another run here in the sixth inning. 5 3 score, West Dallas, as we go into the bottom of the sixth.
Dan Barwick leading off the A's in the bottom of the sixth inning. A's down 5-3. We'll see if can score at least two runs to tie up the game, maybe more to take the lead. And that's two high balls in a row for Barwick on the first two pitches. And he's going to hit that one way out there, right in the gap. And he's going to take two. And Taylor Grimm following up Barwick. We'll see if he can Second base get in there. Number nine, Taylor Grimm. And Grimm hits that one way up into left field. Caught for the first out. Hayden Fenner coming up to bat now. Catcher number six, Hayden Fenner. way inside and it's gonna bounce off the catcher's glove and Barwick will advance to third base one and oh count on Hayden Fenner now ball outside And Fenner's going to hit that one way out into center field, bringing in Barwick for 5-4 score now. West Dallas still leading. One out as Dylan Dieterd comes in to bat. Foul ball to the third base side. Mm -hmm. On one count on Dylan Deter now with a runner on first, and he's going to hit that one fair. And. They're going to send Fenner home, and he will be safe at home. Deterred getting a triple, 5-5 five to five score tied up now in the bottom of the sixth inning. Nice hit by Dylan Dieter going right down that first base line, bringing in one run to tie up the game. Now it looks like West Dallas is going to have a team meeting on the mound. Possible pitching change? Yes.
Max Widmar coming in to pitch for West Allis now. coming up to the plate now. Runner in scoring position on third. We'll see if he can bring him in to take the first A's lead of this game. And foul ball there on the first pitch. 0-1 count. Again, 0-2 count on Amundsen. Yeah. Amundsen is going to hit that one right past second and first, bringing in another run. 6-5 Sheboygan A's taking their first lead of this game. And T.J. McCoy coming in now. Ball way outside. And swing and strike for strike number one. Evening the count at one and one. Boy hits that one way up into left field. It's going to be caught for out number two. Designated hitter, number 19, Harry Stelt. And Harry Stelt coming up. We'll see if he can advance the runner. Interesting play there. Confusing call there. Not sure what happened there.
Kyle Kelkoff coming up to the plate now. Side there from Schmitz. One and oh count now. Another ball. Two and one count now. And broken bat gonna be hit to second base and thrown to first for out number one. Center fielder, number twenty one, Brian Hunsinger. Brian Hunsinger batting now. Strikeout for his last at bat and strike number one. And there's strike two, 0 and 2 count now. Ball way high and inside. And that was going to be hit foul. Well, Caught by TJ McCoy, and he's going to go right over the fence. Two outs now Richard, number with three, number three, Matt Richard. Matt Richard, batting. field and Amundsen throws it in and runner will be held at second short stop number double zero Shea Smith, Shea Smith. First pitch is going to be a hit. Not a soft one either. Hayes are going to keep Schmitz in. Left fielder, and number, number 42, Nick, Nick Schmittelkoffer batting now. And a little high. 
hopper down the first baseline. It's going to be called foul. Ball low on the second pitch there. One and one count now. Two outs. And there's strike number two. He just watched that one come past. That's going to be called a ball, and the crowd is not going to like that. Another ball that could be called a strike, but putting the count at full now. Paul Wall. Two outs as the bases become loaded here. Little chopper to Blake Fleischman. Third baseman, number and number 23, Jake Kolosinski, coming up to play for West Dallas now. See if the A's can get the final out here. One count now. Low ball bringing the count to three one. Pop up way into the outfield, and Amundsen's gonna catch that for a third out. A's still holding the lead 6 5 as we go into the bottom of the seventh inning.
Nate Hiley leading off the A's as we go into the bottom of the seventh inning with a 6-5 lead. count on Hiley and there's strike number one and number two two and two count now and ball outside full count Let's see if Fleischman takes the walk or it's a hit and strike number three with Blake Fleischman coming up to the plate. Third baseman number 35, Blake Fleischman. John Blake Fleischman. Ball number two. And there's strike one. Gonna hit a hopper to third, gonna go right through his glove, and Fleischman will be safe on first. Dan Barwick coming up now. Center fielder, number four, Dan Barwick. Barwick up to bat with a runner on first and one out. And the first pitch delivered is going to be a ball. And there's strike one. ball inside three and one for Barwick and he's gonna hit that one right to second base gonna be thrown to two for the out and one for the out as well for the double play sending us into the eighth inning with the score six five still Sheboygan
Whitmar. Max Widmar coming up to bat, and A.J. Wood, Andrew Wood, is coming on the mound now for Sheboygan A's. is going to be a strike for two and one count now. And there's a little hopper to shortstop and to be thrown to first just in time for the out. Lingveg batting for West Dallas now. And ball high. Ball inside. count now and hopper right to Andrew Wood gonna be tossed to first for a second out right fielder number 29 Jonah Meidel Jonah Meidel number 23 batting now Ball high. And there's swinging for strike number one. center and it's going to be caught by Dan Barwick out number three and going into the bottom of the eighth inning still 6-5 Sheboygan A's Second baseman number nine, Taylor, mm, Taylor Grimm. Grimm coming in for the leadoff. Mm, 
Ball outside. And follow into the back net. Another ball outside. Two and one count. And swing strike for strike number two, evening out the count at two and two. And there's a ball way inside. Full count now for Taylor Grimm. Ball four on the ball outside. With a runner on first, Hayden Fenner coming up to the plate now. Catcher number six, Hayden Fenner. And Fenner puts out a bunt, but pulls it back for strike number one. Ooh, he's going to put a high bunt up there, but pitch was too high and pass ball. One one count on Hayden Penner and Taylor Grimm advanced to second base on that wild pitch there. And he puts out yet another bunt and there's strike number two. swing for strike number three and the first out. And here's Dylan Dietert. Left fielder, number 31, Dylan Dietert. And Dietert hits that one. It's going to be Hobbled, humbled by the shortstop, putting Grimm on third and Dietrich on first, and Emmonson coming up to the bat to bat now. Right fielder, number fourteen, Carter Emmonson. Strike number one for the first pitch. And ball inside, and Dieter's going to take second. And there's going to be a pop up into the net. One, two count.
And Amundsen's gonna hit that one to second. Baseman number 47, and TJ here comes TJ McCoy batting. A little, a little bit of confusion there. Mays thought that the first baseman for West Dallas wasn't covering correctly, so Eric Loomis goes out there to argue it, but Amundsen will still be called out. And McCoy is swinging and missing. And there's a foul ball. Side two and two count for McCoy now. And McCoy hits that one way up. Grabbed by third baseman and six five. Going into the top of the ninth inning.
Kyle Kelkoff leading off West Dallas here in top of the ninth inning. And there's strike number one on the first pitch. There's a little hopper. He's gonna. two count and there's gonna be a grounder to short Nate Hiley's gonna grab it and throw it way too low to first to be caught so runner will be safe on one Brian Hunzinger. And he puts out the bunt and it's gonna be a miss for strike one. Talking to Andrew Wood out on the mound. And Wood looks to get the runner out at first, but not successful. tries to lay down another bunt and it's gonna take a weird hop off of Fenner and runner is gonna advance to second two count now and ball outside they just need to keep any runs from being scored to take this victory so we'll see if they can hold them back and that's going to be a fly into right field, and it's going to be caught, and there's out number one. Catcher number three, Matt Richer. And here's the catcher, Matt Richer. There's a little hopper, it's going to be grabbed by Amundsen, 
And no throw. Shortstop. And here is number double zero, zero O'Shea Smith. Smith. Paul Ball hit way out there. And there was a ball inside. One and one count now. Strike number two. AJ Wood looking to get the strike out here. And Hopper right over Wood to second. No throw again. And West Dallas ties up the game six to six. Nick Schmidlkoffer to swing the bat. And there's strike one. And strike two. Strike three for out number two. Third baseman number 23, Jake Kolosinski. And here's the third baseman, Jake Kolosinski. First baseline and be foul. And there's the pop to center. Barwick's going to grab it and throw it in. And West Alice is going to score another run. 7 6 lead West Alice now. down third base side into left field bring in one and two runs for West Ellis 9-6 lead now
Justin Nelson coming in to pitch for the Sheboygan A's. Coming to bat for West Dallas. And the ball high. Foul ball hooked way to the left. And there's another ball, two to one count. And foul ball into the backstop, two and two now. <laughs> and here's the two two pitch, and strike three for out number three. 9-6, West Dallas lead as we go into the bottom of the ninth. We'll see if the Sheboygan A's can take back the lead and take the victory. And here's Harry Stelt to lead off the Sheboygan A's as we go into the bottom of the ninth inning. And ball inside for the first pitch. And ball outside. And Stelt hooks one into left field, and he's headed to second. Stelt will be safe on second, and a great start to the bottom of the ninth inning. He's needing three runs to tie it up. And coming in to pinch run for Harry Stelt is number 24, Cole McLavick. Shortstop, number 18, Nate Hailey. 
Nate Hiley is coming up now. for the first pitch to Nate Hiley. And ball outside. And Hiley's going to be hit by that one. Maybe not. Three and no count for Nate Hiley now. And there's strike one. And ball low for ball number four, sending Hiley to first, and now runners on first and second base. Dallas has another meeting on the mound. And here's Wyatt Olsen up to bat now. Olsen's first at bat this game and his first pitch is going to be a strike. One and one now. And there's a ball outside, two and one count now. And swinging strike, there's strike number two. three, bringing the count to full now. And fall ball into the backstop. swing strike for strike number three and the first out and Dan Barwick coming up to the plate now center fielder number four Dan Barwick one out runners on first and second Dan Barwick hits that one foul Oh, 
one hit foul. Barwick hitting him way out there, just not in the right direction. And strike three. Barwick watched that one go by. And here's Taylor Grimm coming up now. We'll see if he can bring in any runs. Second baseman, number nine, Taylor Grimm. And swinging strike, strike number one. Foul ball into the backstop. 0-2 count on Grimm already. And Grimm hits one way out there. Way into left field, bringing in... McLavick and Nate Hiley for 9 to 8 game. And Hayden Fenner is going to come up to the plate. batting now. And Fenner hits that one right between right pet over second. And there's and Ben Gordon is going to stay at third. Good choice by Gordon. He would have been probably would have been tagged out by the catcher. And Dieter coming up to the plate now. Ben Gordon on third. We'll see if he can bring him in and tie this game up. Left fielder, number 31, Dylan Dieter. Time called, and looks like yet another meeting on the mound by West Dallas. Ball high and outside for Dietert on his first pitch. Oh, and that's going to be way up there into center field and caught for third out. And that's the game. 9 to 8, West Alice. He's finishing with 13 hits, 8 runs, 2 errors, and West Dallas 15 hits, 9 runs, 2 errors. And 
West Ellis then runs 15 hits, two errors, five men left on base. Mm, five men left on base for Three West Ellis. Eight runs, and 13 hits, two errors. Ten men, Ten men left on base for the A's, and the winning pitcher was Max Whitmar. The losing pitcher is Andrew Wood. And the A's leave with a loss and a very long game here at Wildwood Park. Two hours and 20 minutes, 40 minutes. Next game will be Thursday, 7.30, along with another game Friday and Saturday, and Sunday as well, tournaments, and this is Carson Osterman signing out for Jared Erdman. Loss for the A's, but not the last game, so there's still plenty of games for the A's to win.